Ever wonder what's really happening behind Ripple's latest massive XRP transfers? From an additional 60 million XRP shifted just days after 200 million were moved, all eyes are on Ripple, and for good reason. Could this signal a new twist in Ripple's fierce legal battle with the SEC? And what does it mean for XRP's price? Stay tuned, because today, we're unpacking Ripple's moves, the XRP price reaction, and what it all could mean for the broader crypto space. Hey everyone, welcome back to Gold Rush Crypto Daily Channel, the place where we break down the latest crypto updates, insights, and moves you need to know. If you're serious about staying ahead in the crypto game, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any critical updates. Let's dig in and keep you in the loop about all things crypto, especially the XRP saga. Stick with us until the end because we're also going to reveal Ripple's next possible legal move against the SEC and how that might impact XRP's future. You don't want to miss this. Ripple moves another 60 MXRP tokens. What's going on? On October 23, Ripple made headlines by moving another 60 million XRP tokens, just days after shifting a whopping 200 million XRP. According to data from Whale Alert, these transactions were carried out in two separate moves of 30 million XRP each. Both transfers were sent to Ripple-affiliated wallets, causing a ripple of speculation, pun intended, across the crypto community. These moves have fueled intense speculation. Is Ripple preparing for something major? Some XRP investors believe this could be connected to Ripple's ongoing legal tussle with the SEC which is set to enter a critical appeal stage. It's not unusual for companies involved in regulatory scrutiny to make moves that optimize their liquidity or strategic positioning. Ripple, being in the heat of a significant legal battle, might be thinking several steps ahead. XRP price reaction and whale activity Interestingly, the XRP price has reacted to these transfers, dropping around 3% to $0.529 shortly after the move. This decline isn't entirely unexpected, whales and large holders are always scrutinized closely in the crypto space, and moves like these often raise concerns about potential sell-offs. Whenever a whale transfer like this takes place, smaller holders and traders tend to react defensively, fearing that big players might be cashing out, which often leads to a price dip. But before jumping to conclusions, it's essential to note that XRP's price has often been influenced by Ripple's legal progress. With the SEC versus Ripple case now reaching an appeal stage, we may continue seeing price swings in response to both Ripple's legal maneuvers and these significant token movements. In my view, Ripple's strategic moves here might be defensive rather than offensive. Given the regulatory heat, I think Ripple is preparing for a variety of outcomes from the appeals process. We might be seeing the company shore up liquidity or prepare funds for continued legal costs. Whether this eventually impacts XRP's stability in the long run remains to be seen. Ripple's legal position, a cross appeal with high stakes Ripple's stance on its ongoing legal battle with the SEC has only hardened. Recently. Ripple filed a Form C to the courts as part of its cross-appeal against the SEC. Stuart Alderotti, Ripple's chief legal officer, stated that XRP's non-security status is essentially untouchable due to limits on what the Court of Appeals can review in this case. This development reinforces Ripple's commitment to solidifying XRP's legal status as a non-security, potentially setting a powerful precedent in the crypto world. This isn't just about Ripple, said Alder OT in a statement. It's about the broader impact on crypto. It's clear Ripple is determined to ensure XRP's regulatory standing remains intact, which could have Ripple effects, literally, across the crypto landscape. The sex strategy, distraction or delay. According to Alder OT, the sex approach to this case seems to be about creating confusion and dragging out proceedings. Ripple appears to be framing the sex stance as one that's inconsistent and designed to stall the industry rather than provide clear guidelines. In my opinion, this is where Ripple's persistence may actually benefit the entire crypto community. If they manage to secure a favorable ruling, 
it could pave the way for other crypto assets to be classified as non-securities, injecting much-needed regulatory clarity into the industry. For those of us following this case closely, the stakes couldn't be higher, and Ripple's cross-appeal seems to reflect just how confident they are about their position. Now, before we get to Ripple's next possible legal steps, if you're finding this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support means we can keep bringing you in-depth coverage on this and other crucial crypto updates. Chris Larson's role and Ripple's political landscape in another interesting twist, Ripple's co-founder Chris Larson recently announced a substantial $10 million XRP donation to support Kamala Harris' campaign, following an initial $1 million contribution. The move has drawn a mixed response, with some crypto insiders questioning Larson's choice to back Harris over Donald Trump, who has been vocal about his support for crypto. Yet, Larson's actions reveal Ripple's belief that political alliances might play a crucial role in crypto's future regulatory treatment. Some see Larson's donation as a positive step, aligning Ripple with a candidate whose stance on crypto might be more balanced and technologically informed. Others feel Ripple is veering away from neutrality. From where I stand, Ripple's political affiliations are understandable in the context of this high-stakes legal battle. However, Ripple does risk alienating certain segments of the crypto community by aligning with specific political figures. It's a calculated move, but one that could backfire if political sentiment shifts. What's next for Ripple and XRP? So, what's Ripple's next step in this battle? Following the court's grant of an extension, Ripple is expected to file Form D next week, outlining their primary legal strategies for the cross-appeal. If the court upholds Judge Torres's previous ruling that XRP is not a security, Ripple could solidify its position and, by extension, create a landmark case for other cryptos facing similar battles. The reality is that XRP's price might see more volatility in the months to come. Yet, Ripple's resolve to defend XRP's classification indicates that they're in it for the long haul, and they're not about to back down. As always, let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Ripple's moves are part of a broader plan, or are they reacting to the sex pressure? And if you enjoyed today's deep dive, make sure to subscribe to the Gold Rush Crypto Daily channel and check out our other videos where we explore the biggest stories in crypto. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Always do your own research before making investment decisions.